Hey everyone, this is Quotes. With Grand Blue vs Rising on the way, I figured this should be a quick and easy pickup guide to Narmaya. And while the new game will surely have a lot of changes, I'm fairly sure the basics will remain mostly the same. Narmaya is one of the more involved characters in the context of the game, however, that shouldn't discourage you from trying her out. She's very fun, quite strong, and extremely rewarding to play. So what I'm going to do is give the most basic rundown of her gameplay, her move list, and some basic combo structure. I won't talk about all of her buttons. I'm just going to stick to the essentials, so let's begin. Normaya is a hybrid Shoto Rushdown character. She has two different stances that she cycles through seamlessly to promote her offensive defense. Each stance has their own set of individual specials with their own cooldown icons. She cycles through her stances by pressing her unique button. This can be done at any time on hit, block, or whiff. Your stance does not fully change until the previous action is recovered. Genji or Donfly is her neutral or defensive stance. She acts like a conventional Shoto and has long reaching buttons that can be confirmed into her combos. Her most notable buttons in this stance are her far medium, crouchy medium, and her far heavy attacks. All could be hit confirmed into big damage combos at any point just past mid screen. Some drawbacks however, her close L in this stance is 6 frames and negative on block, and her 2H anti-air has some inconsistency. Setsuna is a projectile function in this stance, though strangely coded as a physical hit. It is very fast, clashes with fireballs, but will lose out to multi hitting fireballs as is only a single hit. The L version is very fast but very unsafe on whiff. The M version is plus and can be held for more frame advantage and staggers on counter hit. H is both fast and advantageous on block, and also knocks down or wall bounces on hit. Absolute Horizon is her standard DP, nothing more needed to be said. Transient is Narmaya's command dash. It allows her to cancel into any of her specials from Kagura stance. The M and H version crosses up. This is her basic combo conversion tool and allows her to close the gap on the opponent instantaneously. Kagura or Flea Flutter is Narmaya's more offensive stance. She sacrifices range for buttons with better frame advantage and more aggressive specials. Her most viable button in the stance is her Crouchy Medium, a 7 frame button that is plus 1 on block and one of her most important pressure tools. Her close light is 5 frames up close, 1 frame slower at max range but plus 1 on block. Her 2H anti-air is also much more reliable in this stance. Kyoka Suigetsu is a lunging attack that acts as Narmaya's main combo ender. Her L version is safe at max range, making it a great neutral skipping tool. The M version is for non-meter hit confirms, that leads to soft knockdown. Her H version can lead to massive damage if done in the corner, but unsafe to most of the cast if blocked. Sengetsu is a flip that can be done on the ground or in the air. It evades lows and lands on the opponent's head, but it can be very risky for those aware as it will lead to counter hit anti air punish. The L and M versions are negative unless spaced properly, while the EX version is always plus. The EX version can be tiger need, making it very useful as a frame trap, throw bait, or used as a combo extender. Mugen Kagura is a frame one guard point, which will make people hesitant about safe jumping you on wake up. However, it is vulnerable to both lows and throws. The EX version can be comboed off of heavy attacks, making it a strong combo ender, leading to hard knockdown and safe jump setups. 100 Cloudscapes is Narmaya's Skybound art, a launching super that will hit twice and can act as a strong anti-air option. The second hit can be cancelled for an extended juggle, but be careful as it will not combo at max range. Ame no Uzume is Narmaya's Super Skybound art, a big hitting super that can be hit confirmed off of any of her far pokes. If done with the cinematic activated, it will switch sides with the opponent. Now for a glimpse of how this character looks in action, here are a few of her combos that use her stance changes. And that is it, a quick and easy starting point for anyone interested in trying out the character. If there's any interest in me making more videos that go into more detail of our gameplay, then please let me know. Promise I'll try to make them as short as possible too. Thanks for watching.